Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, you will learn how to install and use WordPress locally on your computer. So in the previous videos, we have designed our website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And we also have learned how to write code in PHP. Now it's time for us to install WordPress on our computer. Now there are a lot of ways to install WordPress locally on your system. There are different tools that you can use. You can also install it in XAMPP. You can also use a software called AMPPS. But I'm going to talk to you about a software called Local by Flywheel. So this is pretty much the easiest way to install WordPress locally on your computer. So just go to this website called local.getflywheel.com or just type local by flywheel in Google and you will land on this web page. Now just click on this link over here called free download. Now you have to just select the platform that you are on. I am on a Windows so I will just select Windows and here just fill in these details and click on get it now and the software will be downloaded for you. And once you have downloaded the executable just install it like you do with all the other software once you open it you will get a screen like this so this is the area where all your websites are gonna stay so I have a test project right here you'll be having a blank screen just click on this button called add local site or you can go ahead and click on add new site over here now here it says to name the site so we will name our site GT coding you can name whatever you want and if you go to the advanced options you can go ahead and change the local site domain and you can also change the path of the files so we don't want to change anything we we'll just keep uh, this local site domain as gtcoding.local and uh, we'll keep all these default settings now you have to just click on continue now here we have some preferred settings like the PHP version 7.1.7 .7 and we have this web server and this MySQL version. If you want to change this you can go to custom and uh, change this to whatever you want. But I'll just keep it to the preferred settings and I'll just click on continue. Now here you have to give the WordPress username and WordPress password. So we'll just give the wordpress username as admin and we'll give the password as admin as well because this is just a local site and uh, for our online site we will give a stronger password and username so we'll just click on add site and here we can see that the site is being added So here we can see that our site GT coding has been added. It took a while but WordPress has also been installed and the database and everything are set up correctly. We don't need to do any changes to the setup. So we'll just click on view site. If you are not started the site just click on start site and then click on this button called view site. So here we can see our WordPress website and a default theme has been installed. So this has all been set up behind the scenes by local and if you want to go to the admin area you can go to local and click on admin and it will take you to this page over here which is the admin area of WordPress so we just type the username and password which we used to create our site in my case it is admin and admin so I'll click on login we can see that we are in the dashboard area of our website and we'll do some minor change to see whether it is working we'll just go to appearances themes and we'll just change this theme to 2015 and uh, we'll activate this theme we can see that our theme has been activated we we'll just click on visit site we can see that our new theme is installed so we have successfully installed WordPress locally on our computer that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates if you want to check out the previous videos in this series you can check for the link in the description so thanks a lot for watching have a nice day